And virtual machines are a good, safe environment for you to hone your skills. And uh, and the more RAM you have, the the more virtual machines you can run. And that gets to one of my questions. Is and I'm sorry to if you were you if you were you were going for it, but it's um, bare metal versus virtual machines. And you kind of mentioned virtual machines. So I'm assuming for a beginner. You would recommend, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, like a virtual machine is the way to start, right? Yeah, I think the best way for a beginner to start is through virtual machines. That way, you know, you're you're, you're self enclosed. You don't have to be dependent upon the, you know, a website, what have you. You've got your, you got a target, okay. You've got your attack machine. Everything's internally enclosed. You don't have to worry about having an internet connection, and you can practice all your skills all day long as much. As you want, okay, even with the internet down on your virtual machine. So that's the way to start. Now, that's maybe not the way that is is the best way once you become a professional. But once you're starting out, those virtual machines are really the way to go. So you'd start like a Kali Linux or something in a virtual machine, and then like a, 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 a device that you're going to attack, you build your own little like network on your Windows laptop or something. And that's how you exactly. practice initially, right? Yeah. Exactly. So with either uh, VirtualBox or VMware's Workstation, and I have both of them, I use both of them. I prefer VMware's Workstation. I think it's a little bit more stable. It doesn't crap out as much. Its networking is easier to work with and more stable, but it is more expensive. I mean, once again, if we're thinking about trying to build this on a budget, VirtualBox is free and it works pretty darn good. Okay, I've been using it for years and it's gotten a lot better. It's gotten a lot, it used to be much quirkier than it is now, but it works pretty darn good. So if you're on a budget, go free, virtual box. And then Kali, of course, is free. And then you can go ahead and download any number of virtual targets right, that you can work with you know if you even have an extra copy of windows you can build yourself and ex- you can build yourself a virtual windows and uh, and try attacking your windows 10 or windows 7 or windows 11 system in a virtual environment where you don't have to worry about any possibilities of breaking any laws or sending malicious packets over the web that might you know might in different countries is going to be illegal keep it enclosed keep it self-contained and i think that's a really good environment to start practicing and developing those skills. And you can do that with a relatively inexpensive system.